YouTube! In this video, we'll be continuing the mystery box challenge. So if you're new to my channel and you don't know what that is, essentially I bought $30 worth of fabric. Actually, it was $30 that I spent, but it was hundreds of dollars worth of fabric. And I tasked myself with the challenge of making something with each and every piece of fabric. And it had to be clothes. But this video is a little bit different because I made something with a fabric previously. So this fabric. All right, another bullet. I made this dress and I really decided, I really wanted to have a belt with a dress, a matching belt. So here's what the belt looks like with the dress. And here's what the belt looks like with just a regular black dress. So overall, I'm pretty psyched with the fact that I was able to make a belt for the very first time and I'm definitely going to be making more belts in the future. All right, so if you like what you see in my channel, don't forget to press like, don't forget to press subscribe. Enjoy the tutorial. In order to make our belt, we'll need a few things. We will need the fabric and this is what the belt will look like. We will need interfacing and that will give our belt a more solid feel to it, a solid structure. We'll need our belt buckle. Uh, we also need regular materials in order to, to work with the belt, such as a hammer uh, or grommet kit, and you'll see how this will come in handy soon. Uh, some pins, tape measure, scissors. We will also need an iron, an iron board, and that should do it. All right, so I went ahead and cut my fabric and my interfacing to be the size that I need it to be. So in order to determine the length of your fabric, you want to measure your waistline and then add 11 and a half inches to that in order to have enough room to, to loop the belt through the buckle. Um, you want to also make sure that you're cutting the interfacing at the same length as our fabric. Now in order to determine the width, you want to take a look at your buckle and measure going from here to here and you want your belt to fill most of that space. So for me, uh, that space is a little bit over two inches. So my belt will be two inches going from left to right. Uh, so in order to determine the width of my, my fabric here and my interfacing, I took my two inches, uh, I multiplied it by two because everything is going to be folded in half and I added another inch for seam allowance. So overall, this is five inches going from here to here, and this is also five inches going from here to here. So after we have everything cut to the right size, the first step that we need to do is get our interfacing placed onto our fabric. So we want to go ahead and turn our fabric on the, on the wrong side. So this is the wrong side of our fabric. And for interfacing, there is a side that is more rough and bumpy, and this is the fusible part of the interfacing. So you want to make sure that fusible part of the interfacing is touching the wrong side of the fabric. And now you have the choice of pinning this onto your, onto your fabric, and I will do that so that things don't get moved around a lot. So now it's time to iron our interfacing onto our fabric. So in order to do that, you want to go ahead and cover your interfacing with a scrap piece of fabric and go ahead and have the high heat iron um, and place it on top of the scrap fabric. Hold it down in place for a few seconds and that should fuse the interfacing onto the fabric and now we can move on to another area and do the same thing. All right, so our fabric and our interfacing has been fused together, so now we can go ahead and fold this in half and go ahead and measure out the two inches width, or a tiny bit more than two inches width that I want my belt to be. And I'm gonna go ahead and pin the entire way along so that I can sew it together on the wrong side. All right, so now that we've pinned our belt, we can go ahead, put it in the machine, and make our seam. So I want my belt to be curved at the end, so I folded this in half to see where the middle is, and I marked the middle, and I created just a, a, a hand, just by hand, a curve going around, and that will be the shape of the edge of my belt. All right, so I cut around the shape that I just sewed, and I'm gonna go ahead and also cut as close to the stitching as possible so that our fabric can lay flat once we turn it over. All right. So to turn our belt around from the wrong side to the right side, 
we're going to stick this part, the part that's sewn at the edge, into the belt. And we need something like a ruler or a pen or something straight that can fit in our belt. And we're going to pull our belt through. Okay, so as you can see, I marked the belt. This is the raw edge, the unfinished edge. I marked it one and a half inches from that edge, and I made sure that that marking is in the center of the belt from left to right. And so that hole is ultimately going to be where that buckle, this the part of the buckle is going to go through. So we're going to be inserting a grommet in that spot. The first thing we want to do before we insert the grommet is to cut a small hole and I'm using very sharp scissors here to cut a very small hole in the spot that I've marked off all right so now we're ready to add the grommet in order to add the grommet we have to take the base that came in our grommet kit and we position it on our cutting board or whatever flat surface you're using and we're going to take the grommet and this is the right side of the grommet and we're going to put it face down on onto this part that's sticking up all right so now we have the grommet and it's face down as you can see we're going to take this base and we're going to stick it through the hole that we just created now this is the right side of my belt and this is the wrong side of my belt now after that we're going to take a washer which also came in the grommet kit and we're going to put the flat side, the flat surface of the washer, facing upward. Position it over the grommet, centered. Now we're going to take this instrument, not sure what it's called, position it over. Make sure it's very much on there. Then we take our hammer. We're going to hit it super hard a few times. All right, so here's what our grommet looks like when it's done. All right, so now we can go ahead and take our belt buckle and we're gonna stick it in through here, about the line, and we're gonna take this part and put it in through the grommet and loop that over the line. And now we can go ahead and hem this or stitch this down. So we're going to take our raw edge, we're going to bend this in or turn it in, fold it in, there we go. And now I can go ahead and sew along this line. So first I'm going to pin it and then take it to the sewing machine. All right, so I was hoping to be able to take this to the machine and sew it that way, but the buckle is in the way, so I have to hand sew. All right, so in order to hand sew this, notice how I've pinned it. I folded the raw edge underneath and uh, there we go that's what it looks like when you see how it's folded and I'm going to go ahead when in hand sewing this and I'm going to catch underneath here and then I'm going to loop it up to the folded edge all right and I'm just going to go through and keep stitching in that way, the whole way down the belt. All right, so I finished hand sewing, and so that's what our buckle looks like. And so now we can create the grommets, or we can add grommets to the rest of the belt so that we can loop them through.